It's a shame that you have such great power, yet you make such poor use of it. You need to learn control, because only then will you be able to pass this test and meet with Clara. Never fear. Cinder is here. And I have a Dragon Ball Theory discussion video for you. And if you haven't figured it out yet, our topic is key control. Now, in, in the almost exactly three years between beating King Piccolo and the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai, Goku spends almost all that time training with Mr. Popo and Kami on how to control his key. And it's a type of training he'd not done before. He'd learned to create strength harnessing his key, but he hadn't really learned to use it in the ways that he does while he's up there on the lookout training with Mr. Popo and then with, with Kami. And that training becomes the foundation for the type of things Goku's able to do during the, the 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai and then going into Dragon Ball Z. Some of the things we see Goku do is because of his key control he learned while on Kami's lookout. You could say that the key control he learned during this time basically was sufficient. I mean, he continued to grow stronger in his key abilities. But his understanding of his key control for all the rest of Dragon Ball Z comes from what he learns right here during this time period. And both the manga and the anime make it very clear that Goku spent all that time just trying to, to learn to manipulate and control his key. That's really, he. I mean, he grew some in strength, but... Most of his time was spent learning key control. It took him a full three years to do it. And he, he, he has all the control abilities he needs for his key throughout Dragon Ball Z. But then we get to Dragon Ball Super. And Goku and Vegeta have been introduced to a new type of key. God key. And so we've got Whis takes on Vegeta... It takes on Goku to train them. And one of the things he's got to do is teach them to control God Key. You know, they had to learn to control their original key, their regular key. So now they've got to learn to control their God Key. And maybe they're learning a little bit more about control of their regular key as well. So we get this scene in in Super where we stop them, and you'll see this played on a loop in the video. We stop them as they're, they're training and tells them, look, if you don't want your opponent to know how strong you are, how much energy you're putting out, you need to stop raising your key externally but do it completely from inside of your body. Completely inside so that it's hidden from everybody else. No one else can feel it. Now whether or not he's talking about the regular key or the God key or that's how you turn your God, your regular key into God key, it, none of that is made clear. If you want to talk, want to look at my discussions on some of that other stuff on what God key is, uh, I have other videos on that. That's not really what this is about. Although, I will say, I think he's talking about key control in general, more so than God key. And I'll get to a little bit more of that when we look here in just a minute at what happens when we put him into his staff, into this special dimension. But before we get to that, I do want to make one more comment. You know, Goku and all them learn to suppress their key to try and make it so, so other characters couldn't tell how much energy they actually had until they raised their energy levels. 
This was a way of shrinking their energy level so that people couldn't tell how strong they really were. And so they wouldn't be detected. Which, you know, we get to the Namek saga. Krillin and Gohan are good enough at hiding their key. They're not detected by the, the radars. They can get away with, from Vegeta, who started learning to detect key, to feel other people's key, which he couldn't do beforehand. And so this idea of raising the key in a way that people can't feel it is somewhat similar and yet also different because it's not hiding your key. The idea is you're raising your key in a way that it can't be felt, that people still can't tell how much energy you have, how much energy you're putting out without suppressing it. It's hiding it while building it up. And then we sticks him in his staff into this special dimension. And the only way they are able to move, not be kind of in pain, is by controlling their key in such a manner that they keep it inside of their body. And letting it escape causes difficulty in moving, causes maybe even some pain. It's hard to tell a little bit there from what little bit we see of that, whether it's painful or not. It's certainly frustrating when they can't move. And of course, Vegeta makes this comment, well, a couple comments. One, that it's very reminiscent of the um, hyperbolic time chamber or the room of spirit and time. But also, he makes this comment that as he's learning to do this, he can also detect the presence of, of God key existing in that that room. Now, that doesn't really help us much in understanding whether or not they're suppressing God key or regular key. But it, it does, I think, make a point that there is a difference between the two. And he's able to detect the presence of God key existing in this dimension being part of what's forcing them to have to keep their key inside their bodies to function. And so it's a way, by learning key control, a new type of key control, they are now able to train their God key and, and raise their God key levels. Although the keeping it inside itself is not necessarily creating God key. But it's, it's a new level, a new way of learning to control their key, whether it's God key or regular key. It's a new way of controlling their key that they had not been learned before. And a, pro, a part of the process they had to learn in order to use their God key properly. And that's kind of how I see these scenes. If you have any other thoughts if you want to disagree with what I'm saying here, feel free to do so. If you want to add to it, go to my comment section and put, put your comments down there. If you have not done so, I hope you will subscribe to my channel and go check out my other content. I will put links into my other uh, God Key related videos. This is Super Saiyan 7 Cindish. Thank you for watching. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, are property of Funimation, Viz TV, Fuji TV, Toei Animation, and Dragon Ball Z Abridged is the property of Team Four Star. Of course, all of it. The initial creator for them was Akira Toriyama. Please check out their content.